Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big, no matter what sport you're betting on. And we have entered the second round of the NBA playoffs, and we have some great matchups for you for this weekend. First, before we get into these matchups, remember to join, and you'll have access to this VIP club section that has all these great tools to help make your picks uh, successful every single week. So please check this out. So now we're going to take a look at the games for. Saturday, September the 5th in the NBA. So we're going to take a scroll down through here and see what we have in store. First, we have the Toronto Raptors against the Boston Celtics. You see the Toronto has lost the first two games of this series, and they've won four out of their last six. They are average status at the moment. The Celtics are burning hot, having won their last six. Toronto swept the Nets. Entering the series, and the 76, uh, excuse me, the Celtics did likewise against the 76ers. If you look down here at the power ranking indicator, you will see that Boston has taken uh, over compared to Toronto. Just uh, not long ago, a few days ago, Boston was behind Toronto, uh, 29 to 26 in this uh, rankings. But now you see that they've gone ahead, 28 to 26. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups, you will see that Boston is in control, winning their last three and four out of the last five, and actually five out of the last six, which total all the games for this season. If you want to look at the totals predictor, if you're considering the over and under, you see that Toronto is playing in games trending under the line. Boston is also playing in games trending under the line, so betting the under is a wise play in this one, so expect a good defensive battle. If you want to see how stable the two teams have been, how well are they performing according to their favorite underdog status? You'll see here that both teams are very stable. Toronto here is at plus 35. Boston is at plus 28. So what can we expect from this game? I think that, it will, again, I think it will be a low-scoring game. Pick the under. And the gut feeling is, though, that the Raptors will have enough to eke out a win so as not to go down 3-0 in the series. The next game is the Denver Nuggets and the Los Angeles Clippers. The Nuggets are burning hot at the moment. You can see they've won their last three. The Clippers are burning hot at the moment also, and they have won their last two and four out of their last six. The Nuggets entered the series after taking down the Utah Jazz in seven games in the first round, and the Clippers needed six games to overtake the number seven seed Mavericks. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that both teams are on an upward trend. You can see Denver on a more of an upward trend, and teams are deadlocked at plus 23. This is going to be a very, very good matchup. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup for the season, you see the Clippers have won the last two by a substantial margin, but then the Nuggets won the first two by a fairly substantial margin as well. So you can see it's very even. Both teams are burning hot at the moment. If you're looking at the uh, totals predictor, if you're considering the over and under, look at this. Denver is playing in games well over the line, as is the Clippers well over the line. So this should be a very high-scoring, entertaining affair, so bet the over in this one. If you want to look at the volatility, how stable are the two teams, both teams, again, are showing stability. And not a surprise, this is playoff basketball, so most of these teams should have a pretty high ranking in this category performing consistently according to their favorite underdog status. I'm looking at a high-scoring game once again, so bet the over, and I think the Clippers have enough to edge the Nuggets, perhaps even doing so in overtime. So those are the games for the 5th. Now we're going to switch over to the games for September the 6th. So there's, there's two matchups for that day as well, so we'll take a look at them now. So if you look at these games, you see we have the Milwaukee Bucks and the Miami Heat. The Bucks are average at the moment. They have lost the last two, and that's the first two games in this series. Miami is burning hot at the moment. They have won their last six. The Heat swept out the Pacers in the first round, and the Bucks needed five to take care of the Magic. You see the stats average at the moment for Milwaukee, and the Heat are burning hot. See, now we'll look at the power rankings indicator. You can see now that Miami has overtaken Milwaukee now after this two-game winning streak. They're up to plus 26. You see Milwaukee, they were at plus 20, and they had dropped significantly now down to plus 22. Head-to-head -head matchups. 
Heat winning the last two, of course. And look at this. So even during the regular season, the Heat won two out of three. So they've lost. They've won four out of the last five against the Bucks, even though the Bucks had the best record in the NBA. The Heat seem to have their number at the moment. Polls predictor, if you're considering the over and under, see Milwaukee's playing in games trending under the line. So is Miami. They're both playing in games trending under the line. So this could be a defensive battle again. So I would suggest uh, betting the under in this one. Again, looking at stability, but with using the volatility oscillator. How stable are the two teams? Again, this is Milwaukee at plus 45. The most stable team in the league, really. And Miami is at plus 28. So overall, what do we think is going to happen in this one? I'm thinking that the Bucks will find a way to win this. It's very unlikely that they're going to go down 3-0 as the number one seed. So I think they'll find a way to win to cut into this series deficit to two games to one. Now the final game for this weekend, the Houston Rockets and the Los Angeles Lakers. The Rockets end up coming off a two-point win in game seven of the first round matchup against the Oklahoma City Thunder. The Lakers had a much easier time in the first round, defeating the Portland Trailblazers in five. See, the Rockets are average status at the moment, winners of three of their last six. And the Lakers are burning hot, and they are winners of four out of their last six, including four in a row. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see the Lakers are up at plus 28. Houston has been stable over the last few days. They are at plus 21. Considering the over and under, Houston is playing in games trending well under the line. The Lakers also under the line, so I would pick the under in this game. Look at head-to-head. -head. Houston has won two, and then the Lakers won one. So it's two games to one so far this season for in favor of Houston. Take a look at the stability, the volatility oscillator. Again, you see the Lakers are very stable at plus 28. Houston's pretty stable at plus 15, but not as much compared to the other teams in this postseason. So consider the over, uh, excuse me, consider the favorite underdog stats, not the over under, the favorite underdog stats a little bit more lightly for Houston. So what do we think is going to happen in this one? It looks like the Lakers are going to have enough. They are very hot at the moment, and Houston just came off a tough seven-game series. They're probably going to be a little bit tired. I think the Lakers will win this one to go up one game to nothing in the Western Conference semifinal. So there you have it. Those are the four games for this weekend. Please tune in next time. We will have more great picks for you to make you win as much as possible every single time. Enjoy, and have a great week.